This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Hey, I'm Primitive 10. Today we're looking at Florida's freshwater turtles. Florida has quite a variety of turtles. And so we're gonna go check out a few different types and get in the water with them and just kind of see how they behave in their element. So today we're looking at the Florida softshell turtle. And this is a really funny looking turtle. It doesn't have a rigid shell like many of the other turtles. And so because it's a softshell turtle, it's gotta be a little bit quicker and a little bit more agile than the other turtles. Now softshell turtles are pharyngeal breathers. And so what this means is they can get about 70% of the oxygen they need to live from underwater. So as they're swimming around underwater, they can be exchanging oxygen through their skin and then letting out the carbon dioxide in their body. So they don't have to come up as often as the other turtles. For this week's quiz of the week, the question is, what is North America's largest species of freshwater turtle? A, snap'em turtle, B, Florida snapping turtle, C, alligator snapping turtle, or D, softshell turtle. Comment down below with your answer and check back later in the episode to see if you were right. Now snapping turtles have got to be my favorite turtle, hands down, no questions asked. They're just the most incredible turtles in the world. Now here I am relocating a snapping turtle. Now these guys tend to be pretty aggressive when you find them on land. However, if you're in, the, in a spring or something diving with them, they tend to be more prone to retreat rather than to snap at you like, like this one's doing to me. So now we're looking at some cooters and these are pretty much the typical turtle that you see almost everywhere. So this tiny little turtle right here, this is what I think to be a red belly cooter. Whoa, and um, this is something really cool to find because most of the baby turtles end up getting eaten before they're even hatched or um, they get eaten when they're small and vulnerable like this little guy. But isn't he just super cute? Oh, I love finding little turtles. Now this guy was born this year during the summer and um, so he's, he's hatched out, he's made it to a, a good source of water and it looks like he's doing well, he looks healthy and fine. So it's important for us to let him go at the exact same place that we found him and let the natural order kind of continue on because uh, these guys are extremely vulnerable and if we just toss them right here, a bass or uh, any other type of fish or even a, even a snake maybe could uh, come and eat this guy. So it's so important that we put him back where he's gonna have some good hiding places and things like that. My name is Alex Jones. You wanna find animals? You're gonna get down and dirty. I'm the adventurer. And I'm back on YouTube. Ooh. Better episodes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. More dangerous places. It's a long drop down there. <laughs> and deadlier animals. Look at this. Ooh. This is an American alligator. You won't want to miss this. Brand new episodes of The Adventurer premieres this week only on YouTube. Before I take this dive, I have to focus and concentrate so I can hold my breath longer. This way I'll have a better opportunity at actually catching this turtle. Because every time, the turtle is going to hold its breath far longer than I can. Alright, so I just swam under a log and you guys saw me catch this thing. and. Uh, this is a red belly cooter, and you can tell he's got that reddish belly. He's also got, this is an old one, but the younger ones will have red stripes on the side. And uh, he's not happy with me at all. Actually, I should say she. The males will have really long fingernails, and the females will have shorter, normal size fingernails. Look at these feet. The rear feet are webbed, and uh, his feet are made for, for swimming. And in these rivers, they have to be able to swim well because it's got they've got a current to fight. So these are back legs here are really their motors. <sighs> Sorry, I was under a little bit too long. So when uh, someone's chasing them like me, those little those little feet are paddling like crazy. So this one right here, 
she probably doesn't have a whole lot of uh, natural predators. She'll need to watch out for really big alligators and uh, for people. But as far as predators go, she's pretty well covered with this very strong shell and um, a, good, a good sense of survival. As soon as she's released, she heads down to the bottom of the river and goes into the thickest vegetation she can find. This tells me that she was a little bit stressed out by being caught. So next time, I'm probably just gonna let her hang out on her log. In this week's quiz, if you guess C, alligator snapping turtle, you're totally right. Alligator snapping turtles can get up to about 250 pounds. Hey, thanks for joining me on my turtle episode. These things were a complete blast to film. And just being in the water with them and experiencing their realm was just so much fun. So until next time, try to find a new way to appreciate nature. This is amazing, man. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, and I found him in this cave. Beautiful snake. These guys are hemotoxic. Ooh, did you see that? This is ABTV. <laughs>